okay heap and <coughs> garbage collector okay the memory area in JVM where objects are allocated is heap okay there is a memory location called as heap okay it allocates memory you have two parts to it one is young space another one is old space the memory is freed during runtime by a special thread called garbage collector. Garbage collector is a module actually and in that it runs a thread to release the memory. Garbage collector looks for objects which are no longer needed by the program and destroys them. That module, garbage collector module looks at which are the objects which are not required then it released from the memory. It's like if I define an object or a variable inside the function, local func uh, function, that becomes a local variable or a local object, right? So that object gets released the moment you come out of the function. Who does that? Garbage collector does that, okay? All the newly allocated objects are created in young space. Once the young space is full, then <coughs> garbage collector is called so that memory A can be released. What happens? The moment you allocate an object in Java, it puts into the young space. There is heap is allocated into two spaces. One is a young space, okay, and another one is old space. Anything is like you allocate, it gets into the young space. Okay, after young space is full, then it moves to the old space. Okay, if the object has lived for long in young space and then will be moved to old space, once the old space, once the old space is full, garbage collector is called to release the space in the heap. Right, so you have two spaces in the heap that is young space, another one is old space. Right, so the moment you allocate an object, it gets into the young space, and that object is there in the young space for a very long time, then garbage collector will look at it and moves that object to the old space so that the memory is available for new objects in the young space. And if the object is not at all required, it come it need to, need to be removed, it removes from the young space. Similarly, like you know, if the object is not at all required, if it, the object is in old space, then that also removed from garbage collector. This is how memory management is handled in okay Java. Okay. Suresh asked a question, can we free the memory without waiting for garbage collector? And, um, no Suresh, you will not have the control to release the memory, right? The memory has to be released by garbage collector only. Okay. There is um, something called, since you have asked this question, but it is not recommended to use in Java. Okay. There is a, a class called system. Okay. So system.gc, if you call, GC stands for garbage collector. You are explicitly invoking a garbage collector, tell, saying that I want you, know, you to release the memory. You are telling a garbage collector, sir, release the memory for me. Right, it is not recommended to use. Okay, uh, let garbage collector run at JVM pace. Right, whenever it is required. Right, if the program is crashing and you don't have any memory left over, so you can do it. But otherwise, not recommended. Okay. Okay, uh, okay, I have a lot of questions here, one second, hold on. Ananta asks, is the every object goes from young space uh, and from young space to old space then report? It is not like that. Let's say I have a method inside the function, I write one object and the moment, uh, when you alert an object, it is in the young space, right? So. Uh, the moment the scope of an object is out, that is like you know from the function you come out, it is removed from the end space only, right? So if the object has lived for a long time, then it will be moved to an old space and after that if it is still not required, then it is removed from the old space. Okay, Ananta, have you got it? 
Okay. Uh, Kumar asks, is it a specific, like, you know, lived for a long time? Is there any specific time? There is no specific time that is set by the Java. We can also change it. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Anjali asks a question. Why is the heap divided into two spaces? Any specific reason? Okay. The reason is, Anjali, like, you know, they want to keep one uh, you know space called young space where newly allocated objects are there and so you know uh, if it is lived for a very long time they want to move it to a different location so that some more memory is given in the young space for the new objects and in the old space one more module keeps running and checking for a, uh, how much time it is taking if it is not at all used for a very long time it may release it right so that two modules can run on individual spaces Okay, um, Siddhartha asks, finalize is something which uh, you want to, is a, you know, uh, that is not something to do with a garbage collection explicitly. Yes, Siddhartha, finalize is used, you will write your own code to, like, you know, for memory releasing, okay. But if you look at the, uh, f, uh, you know, the uh, documentation, okay, it is not advisable to call garbage collector explicitly, right unless until it is mandatorily required. Okay. See, um, Ananta asks the same question, why it is not recommended to call system.gc? Like, you know, what happens is, you are in between the code, right? So you are asking the garbage collector to run it and release the certain portion. You are another, like, you know, after five minutes or something, again you are calling the garbage collector, right? Unless until you require to release the memory, right? Flushing of the, like, uh, memory for the object, let it do at its own pace, like, you know, it knows, Java knows when to release the memory, right? Okay, is it clear? Okay, Siddhartha asks, is there everything, is there any stack memory in Java, everything is stored in heap? Yes, uh, like you know Siddhartha, uh, stack memory is also there, heap memory is also there. When you allocate objects, when you allocate memory for the object, it gets into the heap. heap. When you allocate uh, data, like you know, for variables, it gets into the stack. Okay? Prakash, it is not a, like you know. Prakash asks, what is the interval of implicit garbage collector call? Like you know, there is no interval as such. It is depends on the situation. The moment, see, you enter a function, you allocate memory to a local variable. Okay, variable. It could be an object. Okay, object. So uh, you come out of the method or a function, right? Immediately, garbage collector has to be moved. Right? It depends on the situation. It is not on a time based. It is the situation based. Okay, Prakash, have you got it? <coughs> yeah, Prakash says thanks. No problem, Prakash. My pleasure. Okay, inside the space, sorry, inside the heap, uh, like you know, you have an object which you can refer it, okay, and um, garbage collector removes the object where you will not have objects in the memory. <coughs> 